Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a love reading on Leonardo Wilhelm DiCaprio. Okay, you guys will know him as Leo DiCaprio. He's an American idol film, actor, film producer. Okay, he's, um, you know, we, you probably know him from playing in the Titanic. That was one of the, you know, his hit movies. But he's born November 11, 1974, which makes him 46 years old. Now, we're going to do a love reading on Leo. But we all know Leo has been hot since probably birth. He's been a, probably a beautiful uh, person since birth, you know, as far as looks go. So, his love reading may be hot and heavy. I'm looking forward to it. But he's 46 years old and he's not married. That leaves me a little concerned because, you know, it's, he's a successful, beautiful man. Why is he not married? So, we're going to find out a little bit more about his, his love life, okay? And what's going on with Leo DiCaprio. Because we know he's not, um, this shouldn't be a boring reading at all. I look forward to it. Because he's a cutie pie. So let's get started on Leo DiCaprio's reading. Divine Angel, can you give me the best three cards for Leo DiCaprio's love reading, please? Best three cards for Leo DiCaprio, please. When it comes to love, it speaks of truth. This situation is calling for you, calling for you to have faith. Okay, so the truth is neither here, Leo. Okay, and it also speaks of healing family issues. Bingo, there it go. That's the reason. So your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I knew there had to be some issues underneath, you know, because he's a beautiful man. Okay, he's talented. But, you know, if he got issues, especially if the issues are the truth, you know, him not being honest or... You know, him not having faith or seeing the truth, then a relationship can't evolve into something serious. Because you need the truth and you definitely need to heal your issues in order to move forward. Okay, can we get one more part for Leo? You deserve love. You are lovable. Isn't he? Okay, so we got the truth here. We don't even need to go on, but we're going to dig in a little deeper. Because we know he got trust issues, okay? He, this, it, It's like every situation when it comes to a relationship calls for the truth, right? It calls for being uh, honest. Um, but it said the situation is calling for you to have faith, for Leo to have faith. Have faith that he is deserving of love. But he needs to heal any family issues that he has because his love life benefits as he forgives his parents. So he really needs to forgive his parents so that he can love. Because if a man has an issue with his mother, you best believe he's going to have a hard time loving the woman of his life. If he has issues with his father, he's going to have a hard time being the man that he um, wants to be in his um, loving relationship. So it's very vital that he heal, you heal any family issues that you may have that's blocking your love life. Okay. So let's see here. Let's find out more about the truth here. Watch the truth of the trust card here for Leo's love reading. What can you tell us about trust? Divine Angels. Give us the best card for trust. All right. It speaks of education, manifestation, okay, and financial opportunities, it could mean. So the truth, okay, it's like he's learning more and more about the truth. And he's learning... Okay, because when this also a manifestation card. Now, you can't manifest with issues, and if you do, you're manifesting more issues into your life. So it's like he's being educated on maybe learning how to trust, how to speak the truth, and how to have faith in doing both. Because he's trying to manifest this possibility, he's trying to manifest. The love in his life and he's not and he this person right here is confused i mean even leo is confused like why do i not have that special someone in his life because everybody wants somebody to love and this person's confused like he don't understand why you know you have everything in your life you have the money you have the looks you know your career is awesome you know everybody know you and he's confused like why do i not have that love 
that that great love that I see everyone around me who have it. You know, he I'm sure he has friends who's married. He got, you know, people in his life who's happily married, happy together. And he wants that too. But he he don't understand why he can't manifest that in his life. Because you gotta have faith. Okay, you gotta trust the process. And there's some healing that's that needs to be done in order for you to be able to do that. Let's see if we can pull another card here on trust. On trust here for Leo DiCaprio. Yeah, he's waiting. <laughs> Aw. He's waiting. He's, he 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 want to know. Okay, why am I not doing this? Okay, I'm. He's in his all in his head about. It. He's very curious. Like, why have I not manifested this opportunity in my life? I manifested everything else in my life except for love. So he's waiting for this person to come. Even though I'm sure he has plenty of options, but it, and then he also, you know, with this person here with this card, it, this person is has a, a a rope around his neck tied to a little tiny tree. <laughs> so it's almost like he don't trust the situation even if he wait on it if, even if it shows up he's still not going to trust it because he's going to still feel like he'll be hanging himself it's like he'll be waiting to, to to receive a broken heart he'll be waiting you know for the uh the shoe to drop you know it's like so it's like he don't he he because he don't have trust he don't trust in the situation he confused by it okay so he's sitting here waiting for the opportunity he wants it but then even when it comes he still don't believe in it. Okay? Because with the sensuality card, we know he's sexy. We know he can attract that person because of his physical look. But he still is not attracting this person that that really speaks to him in his heart. And I'm sure he done met the perfect one alone this 46 years of being on earth. I'm sure he has. But... If he don't see it and don't feel it because he don't trust, he don't have faith in it, okay? He's not going to be able to even see them. Even if the Lord came down himself and said, here, this is the person, he still won't trust it. Because why? Because he got some issues he needs to heal. Let's think about it. If the person, and I'm not saying this is his issue, but just give an example. If if you was raised in a household and the person who gave you birth, who is the mother, okay, even the father, who, the person who, who is supposed to love and cherish you, did not do that. How, how do you wrap your mind around someone who didn't give you birth, that didn't give you life, was, is supposed to love you if those people who supposed to, whose job is to, love you and they didn't do it so there's some healing issues that need to go on he's, he's not going to trust anybody's love he never received it from the two people who were supposed to give it to him so let's find out more about this healing family issues here because your love life benefits as you forgive your parents let's find out more about that why is this healing part here healing family issues for leo dicaprio's love reading divine angels what can you tell us about healing family issues for leo dicaprio we have enthusiasm, okay? Mm -hmm. This person is on a light bulb going full speed, looking ahead. Looking ahead. But it's like, honey, you're on a hot light bulb. What are you actually looking for? Okay, what are you... He, it's like he is excited. He wants to look forward to the future. But it's like he's trying to move past this issue without even having to heal it first. He's trying to go speed past it. Like, okay, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't, it's not a big deal. I don't even want to talk about it. You know, but it's like you're going to have to. You're going to have to deal with it. You can't just speed past it. You can't just ride past it. Looking forward. You, he's trying to look forward, which is not a bad thing, but sometimes you got to heal that past in order to benefit your future, for your, for your future to be benefited. Okay, especially in these times, I mean, a lot of people need to have spiritual healing to move forward. So, let's see if we can find out more about healing family issues for Leo DiCaprio. Anything else we can find out? Okay. We have boredom. <laughs> and you guys... Um, this card also speaks, it's like the days turn, you know, the days turn to weeks, weeks turn to months, months turn to years. It's just like time just going by, just going by. He's still bored with what's going on in his life, even though he got to probably have the most exciting life that uh, all of us can dream of. But he's bored. 
he may he may even need to do some meditation to kind of show because kind of, this in this car he kind of speeding past moving past and he's probably moving past and speeding past because you know when it comes to even meditating to get centered to get to know more about himself to sit still he probably don't want to sit still he probably never want to sit still and if you don't sit still with yourself and go into hermit mode You'll never be able to heal those issues and break it down. You'll just constantly be covering it up. Well, he may be a little bored with his life. If, even though he may be going out all the time, going out every night. Probably got a different girl on, on each arm. It's still not bringing him happiness. He's still bored with it. He really bored with his, his love life, even though he get excited about it and he wants to move forward with it. But then he'll get bored. And once he get bored, it's like, uh, next. You deserve love. Why is the, you deserve love part here? Yeah, because his life produced a lot of disappointment from him. He was, he was disappointed a lot in life. Probably felt like he was cheated out of some things in life. And probably got people in his life that he worked hard for and give to, whether it's family or anything like that, he give to them. And always he at the end of the day, he always is left feeling disappointed. You know, no matter what, you know, you can have those people in your life that you just give, 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 give. And the one time you say no, or the one time you can't fulfill something of a million requests, they leave you disappointed. They, they, it's like they almost reject you. And then that leaves you feeling like you're not even loved. Like they don't even care about you. And that's a real feeling. So it's like his past has always left him disappointed. Uh, left disappointment in his life. No matter what. I always felt like he was cheated out of something. No matter how hard he worked. No matter how much he gives. This also can speak of someone maybe in his past uh, cheating. Because this, this man coming in from hard work. You know. And, and there's a couple behind the door. You know. Cheating. So it could be, you know, he's been hurt in his past. He's been hurt early on too. Early on in life he was hurt. And that makes him feel, even though, he, you know, you can't look at him and tell like, oh, you don't, do, you know, that he don't feel love. Because he feel like, bro, you, you're a nice looking guy. You can get love anywhere. But this is deep rooted. And he may not even be deserving, feel like he's deserving of love when he's sitting by himself. When he's sitting by himself alone, maybe you're supposed to be trying to meditate, break down issues. No, he don't he don't like sitting with himself. He don't like sitting in his thoughts. Because they always uh, lead back to bad memories that make him feel undeserving of love. Leave him disappointed. So those are not memories he wants to uh, entertain. Let's see. Let's pull out the tarot card and see if we can break this down a little bit more. Okay. What can you tell us about the disappointment card here? And the other Caprio's love reading. Yeah. Feeling backstabbed. But this card right here is a ten of cup or ten of swords. But it's it's a different ten of swords because even though he's feeling backstabbed, betrayed, you know, like people don't care. Everything like that. But this card says everything is fine. Everything is fine in his life. Especially from what you see. If you're not outside looking in, everything looks fine. But what you don't see is that he's feeling all backstabbed and hurt and betrayed by people. And you know, in order to stick a sword in you, it's not like a gun. Like In order to stick a sword in someone's back, you have to be close to them to do that. You can't be a mile away and stick a sword. You have to be in close proximity to this person. So these are people who are close to him that has betrayed him. Okay. Let's see. Can we find out more about this boredom part here? For Leo. The Capio. We have reading about Angel. the boredom card here for Leo. Okay. We have this. And this. So. We'll take them. So, we have the strength card here. He's trying to get inner strength, okay? Because this boredom card can be, you know, why he when he sit down and try to meditate and try to, you know, heal these issues that he has, it, it leaves him kind of bored, okay? But he needs some inner strength. 
he needs to have the strength to be able to tame the beast that's within to calm that beast down okay because on the outside he looks calm and sweet right Okay, but you don't know that that's a lot brewing up in him. That's a lot going on in him, okay? And he's trying to balance out the scale with justice. He wants justice for the situation. You don't feel like he deserved it. You know, you don't feel like, you know, the issues, because you, you don't ask for the parents that you have, that you receive, okay? And if your parents that you receive are not the ones, the most loving, caring kind, you don't know that they're not even... The typical parents until you go on the outside and you see other people and how they interact with their parents and how the love that they receive. Okay. And he wants justice for it. He wants to feel like, you know, I want to balance out the scales when it comes to my issues that I have with my family. So he's trying to meditate. He's trying to do what he needs to do so that he can find the strength to, to balance out the scales in his life. But it's not easy. But he's doing it. He's 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 doing. It. He's finding the strength to do so, because he knows he wa he wants someone to love him in his life, and he wants to be able to love them back. And uh, he don't want to feel like he don't deserve love, because he knows that he he knows that he deserves love, but he needs to know how to be able to give love as, as well. Okay, let's see if we can find out more about the waiting. This waiting card here. Why is the waiting card here for Leo DiCaprio's love reading? Why is the waiting card here? Okay. Queen of Cups. Oh, he's waiting on his queen. He's waiting on the uh, the queen that's um, loving. And he wants to be able to trust her. You know, he wants to be able to trust her with his heart. And he wants to be trusted with her heart. Because he has to have faith for that. He, you know, he has to be able to open up to give his heart. And he's waiting on her. Mm. Let's see. Let's pull on this deck. Let's see what we can find out. about this queen of cups here and leo dicaprio's reading please love reading divine angel cross this queen of cups here why the queen of cups here and leo dicaprio's love reading mm. okay we have the gas card here it's like being applauded and cheered on over the top compliments support encouragement <laughs> You may feel like someone's trying to gas him up because he don't trust the situation. <laughs> he don't trust, you know, anybody coming out and sharing his heart because he may not be the type to even be able to open up his heart because of all the disappointment. His heart may be um, not even open at all. You know, it may be a, 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 a he may have a cold heart. You know, because he do seem like you can see in his eyes that he has emotions and stuff like that, but you don't hear him speaking it. Okay, if you ever look at his picture, his eyes show that there's a lot beneath the, the surface that you don't see and he don't speak of. Okay, so when a, someone comes up and and spilling their heart to him, you know, he may feel like they're gassing him up. Because then we have the humble brag card here that don't be obvious. Read between the lines, self-promoting, disguising brag. Okay. And so he may not want someone to come in and gas him up uh, and cheer it on. Or he don't want any over-the-top compliments when it comes to his queen. He just wants somebody to be a little humble with it. Don't be so obvious with it. Because, you know, he probably already heard it all before. He done heard, oh, you're so fine, you're so beautiful, you're so talented, you're so this. And he probably don't even receive it well because he done heard it so much. He wants somebody to be a little humble with him, be a little, treat him like he's down to earth. Okay. You don't want him to be gassed up all the time. So he's waiting on somebody to come in that's not too over the top. That's not going to be gassing him up. You know, he, he, he wants someone to um, appreciate him. And stuff like that. But he know he don't want, you know, somebody that's going to always be gassing him up. And that's because he don't trust in the situation. 
You know, I'm sure some people gas them up, but is it not the truth? Okay. Let's find out more about, let's see, the Justice card. What can you tell us about the Justice card here for Divine, Divine Angel for Leo DiCaprio? Why is the Justice card here? Okay. Shaking my head. SMH. Shaking my head. No words can do it justice. No words can do it justice. Okay. Disappointment. Stupid move. Okay. So it's like he's trying to heal his family issues. He knows he had to has to do it okay he he may even need to do some meditation which you know that's boring if you don't know how to meditate correctly it can be a little boring he's trying to balance out the situation but he's shaking his head it's like oh my god when will it ever end when will i ever be healed what how, i mean do i have to always go back in my past to deal with this i'm sick of it okay because it speaks of disappointment and this we also have a disappointment card here it's like when he go back and try to heal these issues, he got to relive them, which leaves him disappointed all again. And he's trying to balance that out so that he can heal, but at the same time, not constantly feeling like he's being disappointed. You know, he's going back and reliving his past. What can we find about this disappointment card here? For real DiCaprio's love reading. Lots of disappointment card here. Millennial, self-enterprising, adventurous, destroying, tradition, diverse, young person, individuality. Millennial. Self-enterprising, adventurous, destroying tradition. Okay. Destroying traditions. destroying traditions kind of got me picking up he's trying to you know break any any family pathology that he's been going through in his life he wants to destroy that he, he don't want to even because his past has brought nothing but disappointment in his life it's bringing disappointment over here and it's spearing over to him not being able to receive love properly so he wants to break any traditions that's um hindering him from moving forward and showing love to himself because it's not because because he can't show it to himself he definitely can't show it to a female i don't care how beautiful she is i don't care how much she come in and gas him up or, or give him a little humble brag you know how sexy she is is he still gonna become bored with it because of his issues because he don't even know that he he has the issues uh because when he tries to um get the strength to to break through any uh, traditions that he had in his life, whether good or bad, um, he finds himself just feeling like, oh my God, you know, shaking his head like, oh my God, would I ever feel, receive justice in this? Would it ever be balanced out to the point that I'm loving myself truly and able to give love truly without feeling disappointment after every ses session that I have? You know, whether he's going to a therapist or not, you feel disappointed after every session. But what he's kind of find out is that everything is going to be fine. Okay. You just need to take these swords out one at a time. You got so many in your bag. It's going to take a minute. What can you tell us about this tennis sword? Everything is fine here for Leo DiCaprio's love reading. Hmm. Okay. We have tender. Tendering, looking for a match, meeting new people online, dating, ready to mingle. Okay, so he's ready to mingle. We all know he is. He don't mind mingling. That's not his problem. He never had a problem with mingling and finding someone to match with. Okay, he's never had that problem. But, you know, it comes with this squad card. It says, a click of friends, be a team player, close friend, a group, friends, soul tribe. He's looking for a team. He's he's looking for a teammate in life. You know, he may even go to the point of trying to meet people online so that he can maybe even portray somebody that he's not, you know, you know, and if he go out in the real world, everybody gonna know who Leo DiCaprio is. But so he probably went to trying to date online to see if that'll help. <laughs> Cause he don't want nobody gassing him up. He don't want nobody that's, you know, doing the most because he don't know if they love him for him or not because like i said he's, he's still trying to love himself and accept himself and heal his issues 
So he's probably going online now and trying to um, see if people can fall for him, you know, without knowing who he is. Okay, because he, he does want a person, a friend. He wants somebody to be his friend first. Someone that he can have a soul connection with. Someone that, someone that can come in his life and, you know, be a team player. A teammate. You know, he want to have squad. He, he wants squad goals. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he have a whole squad when it comes to real actual friends. Let's see. Let's pull something some more about this squad. What can you tell us about this squad card? Which is thick. Uh, well, you know. Let's see which deck I'm going to start with. Let's start with this one first. What can you tell me about squad? With this deck for Leo DiCaprio. Why's the squad card here? For Leo DiCaprio. About the squad part. It speaks of a message. Uh oh, he on Tinder. He got his message, y'all. You got a message. Somebody swipe right on him. So he's gonna receive a message from somebody. You know. A message to achieve this squad. So it's gonna be someone maybe he found on Tinder. You know, you know, it says tendering, which it could be any online dating. Because he's looking for his match. What well, can you tell us about this tendering card? Why is tendering card here for Leo DiCaprio's love life? Okay, a main female. Okay, he wants a main female to be part of his squad. Okay, either he's going to send her a message or she's going to send him one. Either way it go, they swipe right on each other. They, they swiping right, y'all. Okay. Is there anything else you can tell us about this main female here? And the other Caprio's love reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pull it from here. See if we can get a little more insight on this main female here that's going to send him a message or going to respond to a message from him. What can you tell us about this main female here in Leo DiCaprio's love reading? What can you tell us about this main female with the angels? Open relationship. Mm -mm. Open relationship. Is that why you want a team? A whole squad? Someone that's looking out? Looking out, looking for something else? Come on, Leo. Okay, what can you tell us about this open relationship card? Why is this open relationship card here? Is he in a relationship and he's on Tinder? <laughs> looking for somebody, a third party? I don't even know if he's in a relationship now. Open relationship. What can you tell us about this open relationship card, Divine Angels? Past life. Okay. He's looking for a soul tribe, okay? He's still looking. Maybe an open relationship is someone that's in a relationship that's looking out to go elsewhere. Looking for a past life. Somebody from his past life. A soul Somebody that has a soul connection with him, a soulmate, is going to receive a message from his main females, maybe someone online. You know, because he's sick and tired of the old traditions. He wants to do something new. Really? Okay, let's see if we can find out more about this open relationship. Okay, so anything you can tell us about this open relationship here? Nothing. Anything about this open relationship part? You can tell us about Leo DiCaprio and his love reading. Nope. It says it's self-explanatory. 
for the main female, someone that's in his life, maybe now. Okay, because with this past life, it's like, um, it's somebody that you've known before in another life. Okay, and this card did speak of a soul tribe. And he's looking online, maybe online dating. Or, or maybe even looking, looking for a match that could, you know. No. Let's see what the divine has to say about this love reading for Leo DiCaprio. Divine, give us the best card for Leo DiCaprio's love reading, please. Okay. Divine love. Okay. When you offer everything to the divine with, with detachments, you begin a love affair with spirit. That's what you need to love. You need to uh, build a love and it says trust and have faith. He needs to uh, build a relationship with the divine so that he can see the truth and, and live a fulfilling life of love. But first you need to have love and have faith. Anything else you can tell us divine angel? But we are the Catholic love reading. Mm. I saw what card wanted to come out. Let's see if it wanted to come out again because that's too many. Best card for Leo DiCaprio's love reading, please. Okay, it's still a lot. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take all of them because they keep on popping out. So, you need to have humility, okay? Allow me, the divine, to always accept the right assistance. I welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it. You need divine love. There are signs here. Instincts are messages from the inner divine. Follow your Follow the signs, Leo, when it comes to um, your love and um, healing yourself and healing your past because um, instincts are your instincts are the messages from your inner divine. Okay, you need to have opened up so that you can hear those messages and receive them. But you got to have faith and trust that they are messages that you need to hear. It says here, inner child. Okay, remember he needs to heal his family issues. It says, allow me to give compassion and love to that little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. He needs to heal his inner child. Okay, forgive his parents for anything that they've done to him and hurt him that left him feeling disappointed. He, it's time to heal that. It says, have outrageous openness. Dear love, open me to your will. Release me from your... From my attachments, surprise and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed, and I am open to receive. Yes. He needs freedom. I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from its bonds. Yes, he wants freedom from any of his old um, ways of doing things. Uh, he, he wants to allow the, the he needs to, to, to allow the, the divine to enter his life to show him real true love so that he can see that he is deserving of love. And it says allowing. Okay? Allowing what? Well, I just said divine angels to um, come in. But he he's receiving signs. He just